Right, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to this extraordinary council meeting dated Monday the 20th of November 2023. Um, the meeting is supposed to be live streamed, but I understand we've got some problems just at the moment. I think Adam's working away trying to solve it. But um, whatever happens, um, it will be uploaded, uploaded after the meeting. So anyone wishing to see it can do so on YouTube. Right, before we do anything else, we've got something very important to do, and that is to welcome our new councillor, uh, councillor Lewis Smith, uh, to his very first council meeting. I think um, I speak for all councillors and everyone involved with the council in welcoming you to this very important role uh, that you're now fulfilling and hope that you have a happy and productive time on the council. And um, there's only one piece of advice that I, I can possibly offer, and that is just remember that you're here to look after the interests of the people who voted for you. That's all it is. And that's all we're all here to do. So um, I hope that um, you'll have a, a good time and uh, we'll make a lot of friends and um, do well for your constituents. Welcome. Could I ask for a round of applause, everyone? Thank you very much. Right, moving swiftly on, we go straight to apologies. Now, I've had apologies received from Councillor Lee Clark and Councillor John Wade. Do we have any other apologies? Lovely, you are all here. Okay, uh, agenda item number two is to receive the minutes of the meeting held on the 9th of September 2023. Uh, I hope everyone's had a chance to have a look at those. And if I can ask for a mover, Councillor Chris Bain, thank you. And a seconder, Councillor Lee Wood, thank you. And can I ask for a, a vote, everyone? Thank you very much. Okay, agenda item number three is declaration of interest. Councillor Woodrup. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, I must have to declare an interest because the appointment of the CEO works for the same local authority that I work for. Um, and although he is an employee of the same authority, I've never been and have not been directly managed by him and have only had interaction in meetings with others and I've not had no direct contact. Therefore, I have no DPI or otherwise prejudicial interest. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Woodrup. That's absolutely fine. Uh, Councillor Danny Cook. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. <coughs> Obviously, the council will be hearing this evening an alderman recommendation for my wife, Councillor Michelle Cook, or former Councillor Michelle Cook. I think it'd be uh, wrong of me to take part in that. I won't be leaving the room, but I will take no part in the debate or the vote. Thank you. That's quite okay. Thank you, Danny. And Councillor Peter Thurgood. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, on behalf of Councillor Cook, I'll. Uh, sorry, I'll uh, declare an interest. <laughs> <laughs> but my daughter is. Uh, Thank you very much. That's very kind. Okay. Right. Uh, item number four is to receive any announcements from the mayor, leader, members of the cabinet, or the chief executive. Well, Strangely enough, I have a couple of announcements that I'd like to make, if I may. And these are just forthcoming events, really. Um, I really hope we can have a good council turnout for these, which are uh, it's a council spectacular, uh, council spectacular, a carol spectacular, even, uh, which is a Christmas uh, festive event, which is being held at Tamworth Paris Church on two consecutive nights on the 15th and the 16th of December. The 16th of December, that's the Saturday night, 
there will be prior to the carol service there will be a civic reception in the town hall to which you are all invited along with your partners to come and have a glass of sherry and hopefully a warm mince pie or something of the ilk and we'll all get into the uh, the christmas spirit and have a good um little seasonal get together and then we'll parade up to the church and have what i hope will be the best carol service you've ever been to it'll be all the favorite carols and we'll have one or two surprises hopefully which uh, which may come along somewhere along the way uh so that's on the December the 15th and the 16th, but the 16th is perhaps the one you might want to look at because that's the civic one in here at five o'clock. The actual service starts at 6.30 at the church, both nights. I'd also like to draw your attention, please, to a mayoral concert which is being held at the assembly rooms on February the 10th. This is something I've arranged with uh, Tony Christie, the well-known singer uh, who lives in Litchfield but is coming over to Tamworth and um, he's doing a concert the proceeds from which we are all going to, are going to be donated to dementia charities in Tamworth uh, these are support groups um, who look after people who have got this dreadful illness um, you may perhaps be aware that Tony Christie has himself been diagnosed with de in the early stages of dementia so I hope again that we can have a good council turnout for that and uh, a good good representation of the of the civic side of the town I'm looking to um, stage a quiz at some point in the new year again which I hope you'll all be um, submitting teams for um, I'm also hopefully going to be doing some tours of uh, the town hall the church and the castle if i can arrange those i will uh, i will get those organized and uh, let you know further uh, into the future uh, into next year the festival of youth which i mentioned some time ago is also on my agenda and i'm looking at that um, to see what we can and cannot do uh, regards that okay that's all from me uh can I now pass you over to the leader of the council, uh, who's going to uh, express um, one or two um, things? I think he's got something to say, um, Councillor Turner. Thank you, Chair. Uh, yes. Um, well, it, it, on this uh, auspicious occasion, um, I am announcing that I do intend to step down as leader of uh, the Conservative Group and this. Um, leader of this council at the end of this evening's um, meeting. Uh, I've had many changes and extra demands upon family and work commitments over the last months, which is good because the business is doing really well. So I need to refocus and realign. But I'd like to say it's been a great honour to work with these guys and you guys uh, over the last six months. You haven't seen the last of me, but um, I shall be from the back seats. That's all I wish to say. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Turner. Uh, anyone wish to uh, comment? Uh, Councillor Dean. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I'd just like to say what a pleasure it's been to work with Councillor Turner. The interaction between the two parties has been really good, and I hope that that continues, whoever becomes the leader. Thank you. Anyone else wish to comment? Uh, Councillor Bain. Yeah, I do want to reinforce what Councillor Dean has said. I think what, what it has done is, is to produce an atmosphere where we can collaborate better together than we could previously. And I think it's been a mature set of politics. And, and I'm, I'm sorry you're, you're stepping down, but I do wish you well in the future. And I'm sure your business will go from strength to strength. Um, Councillor Cook, big one. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, yeah, just to echo what others have said, um, obviously, uh, thank Councillor Turner for his service to this council. Obviously, I've sat in his shoes and I know what it's like to surrender the leadership. It's not an easy decision to come to. 
So uh, whatever your endeavours are next, we all wish you luck. Um, I'm pleased to see you got a better one than I did. We were in the middle of COVID when I did it, and I had to do it on Teams from a DAP conservatory. At least you get to do it in the light. But just from ourselves, thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Kingston. Thank you, Mr Mayor. It was a great shame, a great, great shame to see that Councillor Turner is standing down. And um, as one of the lone independents, it's been a pleasure to be able to work with Councillor Turner in his role as leader. He has served this town well for the past six months that he has been the leader of Tamworth. And he has certainly, from my perspective, and I don't know about it from anybody else's, made this town or put this town on a series uh, or on a track rather where we're going to see some wonderful events and some wonderful changes take place for the real benefit of the people of Tamworth over the coming months and years. And I only hope that the Conservative group can find somebody of equal stature to fill Councillor Turner's shoes. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Cooper. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Yeah, I'd, I'd just like to uh, go on record and say thank you to uh, my colleague, uh, Councillor Turner, for all, all that he's done, really, for, for, for me personally and for us. Uh, the, the kind of man that uh, Councillor Turner is, I, I turned up um, the, the other day to, to, to a meeting, ex-serviceman, forgot my poppy. It, you know, it happens. I was in a rush. I've, kids are moaning, you know. Sat down next to Paul, first thing he did took his, poppy, his spare poppy off his coat and said, there you go. And that, that, that for me, is the mark of, of, of the man. He would, he would never see uh, any one of us uh, struggling at all. And I, and, I, and I say my heartfelt thanks for everything you've done. Um, and, and I hope you, you're well for the future. But I know you won't be a stranger. You'll always be in and around, badgering <coughs> us, probably ringing me 14 times a day, um, <laughs> even from the back benches. But it's welcome. It's welcome. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Cooper. Councillor Thompson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I just want to kind of reiterate what everybody else has said, how I've enjoyed <coughs> six months working on the Cabinet with Paul. He's a man of morality and absolutely has Tamworth at his heart. And I just thank him for everything that he's done for me. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Thompson. Councillor Woodrow. Yeah, thank you, Mr Mayor, and I can echo what everybody else has said, but I must say that Paul has checked in with me regularly on a regular basis, and after meetings, when he's seen that I'm a bit down, he'll take his time out and he'll phone me, and he's phoned me the following day, and he's been nothing but a massive support, and it's a great loss to Tamworth for him stepping down as leader, and as everybody said, I hope somebody that takes his place has got the same stature and standing and morality that he has got. Thank you, Councillor Woodrop. Councillor Jay. Thank you. Um, yeah, as Deputy Leader, obviously, I've worked very closely uh, with Paul more, more than anyone, really. And uh, it's, been, it's been a pleasure. And uh, you should be proud, you know, every decision you've done, everything you've been doing has been for one reason, one reason only, and that is to try and make time a better place. So uh, you should give your head held high. Thanks very much. Thank you, Councillor Smith. Yeah, I'd just like to echo what everyone said, really. He's a, he's a decent human being. Um, he's, you know, his main focus has always been uh, a collaborative approach, which, you know, I appreciate trying to, you know, take everybody that might have different sort of opinions, which obviously clearly <coughs> a lot of people do, and try and bring everyone together. So I've, I've massively appreciated working with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Um, on a personal note, if I may just comment slightly, um, my own dealings with Councillor Turner have always been of um, extreme um, courtesy and helpfulness. Um, he is a man of integrity and he is a man of Tamworth. And um, I'm sure that we all agree that during his six months um, leadership, he has proved himself to be a man of honour and a thoroughly decent bloke. And so I think on behalf of everyone, thank you, Councillor Turner. We'll miss you. Councillor Turner. Thank you for that, Chair. Uh, well, everybody, it's humbling. Um, thank you from the bottom. It is. Um, you're right, moving on. 
always a good challenge. It's always you know difficult to move on from this lot. It's very special. I've only been in politics nearly 18 months now, so it's wow, what a journey. It's been a nice journey, great journey. Um, worked with some fantastic people, learned lots and lots of stuff, and I know that all of us around this table have got Tamworth at heart, and I know that it's going to go from strength to strength. The guys are just talented with it. Um, one thing that I did omit, omit to um, announce was that I'm announcing a new portfolio holder, which is Councillor Clements, as the Civic Pride and N engagement portfolio. So I welcome you for the team or my successor's team. Thank you everybody. Much appreciated. Thank you, Councillor Turner. Uh, right, members of the cabinet, uh, do we have anyone wishing to make any announcements? No, no, and the chief executive, nothing, okay. Right, we then move on to agenda item number 4A, changes to committee membership. I understand that on the conservative side there are no changes, is that correct? Um, sorry. Uh, in light of the, the leader's announcement, we're going to review it and, and come back for the next meeting. Thanks. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. And uh, for Labour Committee changes, can I ask uh, Carol, Councillor Carol Dean to make a statement? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We need to make a couple of changes in the light of Councillor Smith's appointment. So we will be replacing Lee Wood on ISAG Committee with Lewis Smith. Lewis will also replace Lee Clark on corporate scrutiny and Lee Clark will take up the place on the Statutory Officers Conduct Committee and also the place on the Chief Officer Conduct Committee. Those are our changes. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Dean. Right, moving ever swiftly on, we come to agenda item number five, which is the appointment of the Planning Committee Chair. Uh, can I ask if there are any nominations for the Planning Committee Chair? Councillor Doyle. I'd like to nominate uh, Councillor Marie Bailey and reserve the right to speak. Okay. And are there any other nominations? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I second the motion for Councillor Marie Bailey and reserve the right. Okay. Are there any other nominations? Right. Um, Councillor Doyle, you wanted to speak. Yes, thank you, Mayor. I'm more than happy to nominate uh, Councillor Marie Bailey for the position of chair for the planning committee. It's been a pleasure to work with Marie serving in both Stonydale and Trinity communities as a member of the uh, Council for Tamworth. Having been a Vice Chair of Planning Committee for three years, as well as a Vice Chair for Audit and Governance, and, serving in, and then serving on Cabinet for two years, bringing her knowledge, of cabinet, uh, bringing her knowledge to Cabinet on matters related to finance, she's done an outstanding uh, job under difficult circumstances. During that time, Marie has uh, made many friends amongst her own ranks and with the residents. Marie has shown a strong will and determined character during her time on the council, having faced a few personal issues of her own. I will always be grateful to the personal support Marie has shown to myself and look forward to seeing her become a very successful and popular chair of planning. Please accept my nomination of Councillor Marie Bailey for chair of the planning committee. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Doyle. Councillor Cook, you wanted to say a few words. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. I think Councillor Doyle's covered that succinctly. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Um, can I, we then have a vote? All those in favour? Anyone against? And abstentions? Thank you very much. Right. 
Um, well, that's uh, passed, and it only remains for me to say congratulations, Councillor Baby, uh, Baby, Bailey, and um, welcome to uh, what I personally regard as a hugely important committee planning. Congratulations, Councillor Cook. Uh, just for quick governance, is there a planning committee meeting before the next full council? Do we, you quickly need to sort that? Because if Councillor Bailey doesn't sit on planning, which I don't think you do currently, you need to get her on planning very quickly. So I'm just wondering if you want to quickly sort that out. Or is that something that can be updated to other councillors outside of this meeting, just for good governance? I think that can be updated at some point. Uh, did you want to have a word? or? Yeah, she's just replacing Tina. Straightforward. For that one. Straightforward. Like for like. Yeah. Okay, thank you everyone. Uh, right, agenda item number six is the nomination of Honorary Alderwoman Michelle Cook. Um, this is to consider conferring the title of Honorary Alderwoman on Michelle Cook under section 249, section 1 of the Local Government Act 1972, and it's in recognition of her services to the council while she was a member of the council, having served as a councillor of the Borough of Tamworth for at least three consecutive terms. Uh, I would like to invite a nomination. Councillor Pritchard. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, most councils have their way of thanking uh, members who've served this authority for a long period of time, and Tamworth Borough Council is no different. Uh, and I hope, like myself, everybody will consider this uh, vote merely a formality. Um, I think it's a special moment when we get to move motions like this because it doesn't happen very often, but it is something over the years uh, I've been involved, we've done for members on all sides of the chamber. And I think it's important when we do come together regardless of our political affiliations, to say thank you for those who've given up uh, you know, a serious amount of time to serve the, serve the council. Three consecutive years uh, is older than my children, as an example. So it is, a, is an awful lot of time to invest in something um, and make those sacrifices. Um, being a councillor has many lovely moments. You make many friends, you get to do many lovely things. It also has a number of moments when you question why you're doing this. You know, You often fall out with people. Uh, you often have to make decisions um, that you know are unpopular but are the right thing to do. Um, and over Michelle's time on the council, she's experienced all of that. Um, she's served this authority in a range of roles. And if you know Michelle, you know she's always given 100% to anything she's put her mind to. Um, so I think it's really important that having done that for three consecutive terms, this council do say thank you. Um, I won't go into the history of Alderman, because um, I could probably bore you stupid, it's something I've, I've always had a, an interest in, um, but you do get two very special perks being an, made an Alderman. You get invited to the Mayor's dinner, and you get a notice of all the agendas. So remem remember, Michelle, to use those perks wisely. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, Councillor Pritchard. Anyone else wishing to, um, to speak? Councillor Woodrow. Yeah, can I just say, prior to being elected um, and during election and after election, Michelle at every angle has been very good support. When I stood in Hamilton, I met her and Rosie, and as Rob just said, Rob Councillor Pritchard, he's, you know, you, you sort of think, oh, we're the, the enemy, so to speak. But we got over that, and I'm not joking, I've had so much support and so much, you know, um, Everything off her really. She messages me, you know, we, we you know, we're still arranging to meet up for a coffee. That's no that's not happened yet, but it, it will get there. But yeah, as I can as, you know, I can say that, you know, I really support this motion and I think that, you know, we should all agree to indulge it. Thank you, okay. Councillor Woodrow. Anyone else? Councillor Doyle. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I was actually down to second this, but uh, Jan's done a good job. Uh, I'd just like to uh, say a few words. Uh, Paul, uh, our leader at the moment, has asked me to pass on his thank you for your service to the council. Um, from myself, Michelle has achieved the status of being a councillor for three successive terms, which is no easy accomplishment, as I know. Serving the community for a period of 12 years as a member of the uh, council for Tamworth is not an easy job. 
During that time, Michelle has been a cabinet member for housing where she looked to work with officers through some very difficult times, both austerity and then COVID, to deliver a service to residents, which wasn't an easy task. One of her key achievements was overseeing the Tinkers Green and the Carrier Regeneration Project, which saw £19 million invested in those areas, providing new homes for the residents. Michelle has shown a strong uh, will, definitely, and very determined character during her time on the council. And she's never been one for taking no for an answer. Uh, I will always be grateful to uh, Michelle for her personal support. And um, I look forward to seeing her in the future years on the council. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Doyle. Um, anyone else? Councillor Jay. Thank you. Just very briefly, um, everyone's covered some good points already, but uh, only us in this room or anyone that's been in this room knows the amount of personal sacrifice and time it takes of being a councillor. It's a lot more than a public meeting that people see for an hour or two. There's probably five, six, seven, ten hours that have gone into being here tonight. Um, so there's a lot of personal sacrifice. I joined six years ago. I didn't have a single grey hair then, so read into that what you want. You did 12, so I think... Um, and you haven't got a grey hair, so well done. Um, so I think, uh, you know, that should be commended. So you've served Tamworth for 12 years, so I think we should commend it and I fully support it. Thank you, Councillor Jay. Councillor Claymore. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Uh, I think it would be remiss of me not to say that I support this, um, this motion. As Michelle has shown over the 12 years that I've known her to be a fantastic um, councillor, always putting the residents of Tamworth first. Um, and that it would be remiss of me not to say that I know Steve would be supporting this. My latter husband Steve would be supporting this um, nomination for Michelle. So, um, yeah, and we hope to see you on here again, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Claymore. Anyone else? Right, OK. Well, um, all I can say suggest now is that um, we've had a nomination from Council Pritchard, it's been seconded by Council Woodrup. Um, we will now take a vote. All those in favour? Anyone against? Absolutely splendid. Michelle, we look forward to um, presenting you with the uh, certificate at the December meeting. If you could be signed kindly come along uh, we'll be thrilled to to pass that on to you and to confer on you the great great honor of being a tamworth alderman ladies and gentlemen if nothing i can't think of anything that deserves a round of applause more would we? thank you everyone Right, over to agenda item seven, which is the appointment of the chief executive. And for this, I will hand over to the leader of the council, Councillor Paul Turner. Thank you, Chair. Uh, yes, it gives me great pleasure to update this extraordinary general meeting or extra meeting of the council regarding um, this very important uh, appointment that's recently gone through rigorous selection criteria and uh, culminated in the um, Staffing and Appointments Committee uh, endorsing Mr. Stephen Gabriel as our next Chief Exec. Um, <coughs> Stephen brings, uh, he is an exceptional leader and he brings a lot of strong qualities to Tamworth. And I'm sure that as, um, as he takes on this new role, which is, as we know, very big shoes to, uh, to fill. Um, and I think that all of us will benefit from Stephen's experience, his knowledge, his new look at things. And I'm sure you'll all be there with me, supporting, helping, and encouraging him to do the best for this lovely town of ours. Um, and it would be re remiss of me, really, uh, although it's, you know, I'm delighted that my predecessor will actually physically shake his hands and welcome him here. Um, it was unanimous, the decision. The decision the process was really fair really thorough um, and i do look forward to working with him personally when he comes but i'd also like to take this opportunity on behalf of myself and all of you guys around here um, to thank our current chief exec mr andrew barrett uh, your dedication your leadership your service and so so much more um, is always 
beyond and above the pale. So I know I'm under my very short tenure. You've been an amazing guy to work with, amazing person generally. Um, and I do personally thank you for your support and help and guidance. Uh, and I am sure that around the, around the room, we'd all like to say thank you. And it's a bit premature, but we do wish you a really good retirement and a long one. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Councillor Turner. Right. Um, the leader has moved that uh, we, um, we accept this. And can I have a seconder, please, Councillor Jane? Right, we go to the vote. All those in favour? Do we have anyone against? Any abstentions? Then it's passed. Thank you, everyone. Right, I think that's the end of proceedings for tonight. Um, so I'm going to close the meeting, despite what the clock is telling me. <laughs> we'll close the meeting at what I hope is around 6 44, something like that. Uh, thank you for attending. And for those watching online uh, in the delayed recording, thank you again for watching. And good night, everyone. <laughs>